Greetings, friend. I am going to show you how to find and solve Sudoku X chains, and we're starting now. Welcome back to all of you who have been enjoying my month of Sudoku. Today, I'm going to go over a tutorial. In this case, the tutorial is on X chains. X chains are a fun and relatively easy logic to spot. Uh, it's a strategy I use quite a bit. And what's nice about them, they're a unique type of alternate inference chain in that they're only looking at one candidate. And so uh, I've explained alternate inference chains before. Uh, the idea is you have these st strong weak links. And I'll kind of go through that again, but uh, you can check my XY chain tutorial. I'll put a link at the end of this and you can kind of get a little bit more about that. This particular puzzle, this is Innies or Outies by Joe Harris. There was a spot in this puzzle where I was able to use a form of an X chain, that, and I'll go over that now. So things we need to know about X chains. One, they are strong and weak links. Two, they're only one candidate, and I'll put the, up the sixes to kind of help it. Three, uh, the even number amount. So if you're doing an X chain, it's gonna be uh, four, six, eight, etc. And then the other thing about it is you're using a strong link, you're gonna be able to eliminate any cell uh, that sees the beginning and end point of the X chain. Because what you're doing, and in this case, is you're saying, hey, you know, is this a six? If this is a six, then any cell that sees this can't be a six. If this is not a six, the cell at the end of the X chain will be a six. And so that way, any cell that sees both of those can't be a six. So in this case, the simplest X chain that you'll come across is also called a two string kite. Uh, it can also be called a turbot fish which is used for uh, the same kind of logic used for a skyscraper. And the idea is, say we start right here with this candidate, right? There's a six right here. Well, this six, if this is false, this one's two. There's only two here. A conjugate pair is when there's two of the same candidate in any house, you know, row, column, or block. And so if this is false, that's true. That's a strongly linked pair, right? And if this is true, then this would be false. And so you're saying if something's true, then the other is false, that would be a weak link. And so if we had other sixes in this block, we don't, but if we did, then all those other ones would be false as well. So that would be called a weak link. Uh, in this case, you see there's only two, so it's actually a strong link, but we'll call it a surrogate weak link because it's gonna act like a strong link for us because we gotta do the alternating bit. So you have a strong, weak, and then you have another strong link up to this six right here, and that'll be our end point. And the reason being is you know, there's only two, so there's a kind you can pair right there. So this is the normal uh, two-string kite, right? You have one block, and you have a strong link coming out, you know, one of the columns, you have a strong link going out one of the rows, and whatever sees those two endpoints, you can eliminate that cell. If you look at it as a two-string kite, what you know is, you know, only one of these can be true, right? So uh, if one of these is true, the other one, the outside would be, one of those outside ones would have to be true as well and the other one would have to be false. Uh, so this is a, the simplest X chain. So you look right here to six, and I said, oh, okay, well, this six. Uh, strong link here, weak to there, strong link here. All right, and you, with an X chain, the other thing you keep in mind is you're always starting and ending the X chain with strong links. And so this is a valid X chain, and we see that we can make an elimination right there, and we can eliminate that six. That cannot be a six. Um, something else to keep in mind, in case you didn't notice, is you could actually solve this a different way. I'm just going to point it out. Um, if you did an empty rectangle, you'd be able to solve that. You'd be able to eliminate the six in that cell as well. Using this block, this is an empty rectangle shape. You can slice and dice exactly one row and one column and eliminate all the, get all the sixes here. So let's say you had sixes coming out here. You would hit this. You see there's a strong link between these two sixes. So then you come back and wherever you know, this row meets the column coming up from this six, you can make an elimination. And the reason being is, if that was a six, that can't be a six. If this is not a six, the six has to be right here. And it's an empty rectangle, so that wouldn't be a six. This would have to be a six. And again, you'd never be able to have a six in that spot. Okay, cool. All right, so two strings kite, simplest form of an X chain. Let's move on to our next example. Okay, for our next example, we're gonna look at an X chain that's a little bit more complicated than just like the two string kite, uh, turbot fish thing I just showed you. So this is from Fried Fish. This was a collaboration video I did with Ashish Kumar 
on Shaking Sudoku and Puzzles. Uh, this is the version that I worked on. And when I was looking at the threes, I discovered an X chain. And I wonder if you can spot it using the threes. And if not, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. All right, so we'll look right here at this starting square. So this three has a strong length district, right? There's only two in that uh, column. And then it has a weak link to this three, right? Because there's more than one three to go to. This is false, that's true. If that's true, this would be false, right? So a weak link here, strong link up to here, a weak link to here. You can see there's more than one in this block. That's okay. So it's a weak link to this three and then a strong link to that three, right? Because there's only two threes uh, in row three. And so this is a valid X chain. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. And so if this is a three, if it's not a three, this would be a three. That's what it's telling us. You can eliminate a three from right there. And this is very helpful in this particular puzzle because by eliminating that three, now this is a pointing pair. You can eliminate that three and create some more eliminations. Okay, and you notice one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, an even number of cells. This is a six link chain. All right, let's uh, move on to our next example. And for our third and final example, this is a classic Sudoku by Jovial. I, I solved this one uh, recently. And this is the actual starting grid of the puzzle. You can find an X chain in this puzzle from the starting grid. And this is going to be a pretty unique looking X chain. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. So let's show all of our candidates. And I believe we're going to look at the fours. All right. Uh, all these puzzles I'm showing you, by the way, I'll put links to those uh, solving videos in the description so that you can check them out. Um, so what was interesting about this puzzle is we have uh, not just an X chain, but we end up having a continuous loop made of X chain of just the fours. And what you can probably see out here is what we saw before in our first example, you know, kind of this two strings kite looking thing, right? Strong, weak, strong. Okay, but then you go, well, that and that end cells here, here and here. Well, where they connect, there's an eight. I can't make any eliminations. Well, that's no good to me, right? Well, you have to keep pushing. You got to look a little bit further because if you probably notice also is there's another smaller chain in here, right? Starting there, strong, weak, strong, there. Okay, and then you might look at that and go, again, no elimination. Why are you showing this to me, Timberlake? But these endpoints see each other. Now the first and the second, um, like two string kites that I just showed you. That means they're connected in a loop. So let's start, let's start out here again. You'll notice you have a strong link right here, a weak link to there, or a surrogate weak link, right? Strong to there. You have a weak link to this cell, okay? Weak link to that, strong here, because there's only two. Surrogate weak link here, strong to here. Now, from here, you have a weak link back to the start. If you have a weak link back to start and you go strong, weak, that is a continuous loop. And so it's an X chain, but it's also a continuous loop. And I'll just color this a little non-standard because I want you to, this is almost a version of simple coloring because uh, I want you to see, you know, the strong and the weak links, right? So the each orange to purple is going to be a strong or a weak link. So what's, what's, great about this. Can we make eliminations? And the answer is yes. Uh, I actually made, only made a couple of the eliminations in the solve, but I can make more. I'm going to show you the rest of the eliminations you can make right here. So again, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. So once you get the weak to strong, continuous loop. What does the continuous loop mean? It means that either an orange is, is a four or a purple is a four. That's what it means. So if this is, is a four, Great, no other fours along row one. If that's not a four, this would be a four. So still no other fours along row one. And then the same thing can apply down here in column nine. If this is a four, no other fours along column nine. If that's not a four, this one has to be a four. No other fours along column nine. So we can eliminate all these fours across 
row one and column nine. And in the puzzle, I saw that this ended up making a three as a single, and I was able to kind of make some more eliminations and move on. If there, since it's a continuous loop, uh, if there if there's some weak links here, you know, if like there's some uh, fours in here extra, we could eliminate those. Uh, the same thing, if there were some fours in here, we could eliminate those as well. Uh, but they weren't in this particular puzzle. But I wanted to show you that to show it's not only an X chain, but it's actually a nice continuous loop. Uh, very awesome find, very cool puzzle. I, I love solving Jovia's puzzles, They're always very neat and exciting, and they usually showcase some kind of really cool type of logic. So, I hope you learned something new and cool about X chains in this video. Please come back each day in February to get a new video during my month of Sudoku. Also, don't forget to check out some of these other videos from my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Smart Hobbies, share this video with someone you think would really enjoy learning more about Sudoku. Thank you all so much for watching.